Well, good morning, everyone. I had something I was going to share with everyone. And uh, this is what I'm going to be having for my lunch. Uh, this is crispy battered fish. It's wild called Alaskan Pollock. And uh, it is just delicious. And uh, there's 10 fillets in here. And I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, I have fish. And I have shrimp. This is butterfly shrimp. It is absolutely delicious. And I'm going to show you what I do with it. Uh, I'm going to start with the fish and show you what I do with the fish. Now with the fish, what you want to do, what I do, is uh, I take and I dump all of the fillets into there. And... Okay, it says there's 10 fillets in here. So you got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Isn't that something? That's the way they are. They're real good people. That that's why I highly recommend this right here. I mean, and you won't believe the flavor. Uh this is really good. I just can't say enough good about this. Uh but you go by the directions on the back. You put it in. You preheat your oven. I'm doing it right now to 425 degrees. Now, what you want to do right here, I do the conventional oven right here. I guess you can see it. But what you do is you put it in there. You preheat it. Then you arrange your fillets on your baking pan. And then you bake these for 20 to 22 minutes. Okay. Now, let me show you what else I do. I take my shrimp and I open it up. And it's always kind of hard to open the box, but nonetheless, uh, I shall get the box open. And uh, see here, when you pull this out, when you pull this out, look at all the shrimp they give you. Oh, listen, they don't jip you. Trust me, they don't. Now, I take my uh, kitchen scissors and I cut the top of this open like this. And uh, I take that. And what I do now is I take this shrimp and I put shrimp in here also. Don't that look good? Oh, isn't that good looking? Isn't that good looking shrimp? I wish you'd look at that. It's, it's got a lot of meat on it. It's so good. It's unbelievable. And all you do is bake them in the oven. That's all you do. These don't stick to each other. Uh, they don't stick. And uh, that's what I do. I put about all, I guess about 15, maybe, maybe 20 shrimp in. And then what I do is I put this back up into my freezer. And I always use a clothespin. I don't know if you do that or not. My wife used to do it, so <laughs> I used to watch her doing it. So I just kind of carry on the tradition. But now what you do now is you uh, put your shrimp in the refrigerator, in the freezer, the shrimp you got left over, and uh, that will be for your next uh, meal that you're going to cook. And... Uh, I, tell, I just love this so much. I really do. I, I just can't say enough good about this shrimp. Uh, they have really got an excellent product here. Well, my freezer's so full, I can't put my fish in there. <laughs> I found a spot. I got so much stuff in that freezer, it's just unbelievable. But now here's what you do with your shrimp that you got going right now. You got your shrimp, you got your fish, and you're going to cook all this up. Now, you can cook the whole box of shrimp up, but I don't. I usually just make this much shrimp because I eat the fish also. And uh, what I do is I keep this right here because I just like to look at it while I'm a cooking. And uh, it's such a beautiful box and such beautiful fish. And I'm going to show you what I do. I use um, 
my tartar sauce. I'm going to get it and show you what I got here. Now this is my tartar sauce that I use. And I use Holland House malt vinegar. And I just love this so much. Listen, it, it tastes so good. It's got such a wonderful flavor. But now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this in the oven. Right now, my oven is preheated. Whoop. Didn't mean to hit the camera. <laughs> So, I got that going. It's going to go in the oven. And now I'm going to set my time for about 20, about 24 minutes. And I'm going to let it cook for a while. I'll put it on about 25 minutes. And I'm going to let it cook for a while. And that's what I'm going to do. And when I pull it out, I'll do a second part on this video so that you can see it. This is part one, and I'll have a part two. Uh, please hit the uh, like button, and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the very next video as soon as this cooks. It's baking in the oven. It's baking right now. Boy, it's, it smells good already from the preheated oven. I'll see you in a little bit.